Good morning, y'all. It's uh, Saturday at 6.02 a.m. here in Georgia. Um, sounds like before we get chopping again, we're going to blow out all our air filters and radiators and stuff once we get to the field with the air compressor. So, uh, just, we're going down quite a bit of gravel, more gravel than our car, honestly. I think mean, like two miles worth of gravel or three miles, whatever trip, I don't even know. Um, I'm going to guess it's like 50 miles of pretty dusty... Uh, gravel. Um, so we're just going to blow everything out so that we don't have any overheating issues nor plenty of power. Um, it's done with the load sheet so that that's ready. So that's all done. Which I think it's the 29th today. I don't even know anymore. Every day it blends together down here. It's all the same. Uh, let's see. What does my phone say? Oh, hey, it's the 30th. I was 30, 20, 22. The other day I was so tired about 2021, like, time traveling back to a whole other year. But. Okay, so, what we gotta do is we gotta get the date, the truck number, where it's going to, or so which dairy, and then the field name, your name, and then IRC. We got our empty weights at some point today, and we get our loaded weights, and then once you're done here, at the end of the day, you'll just total up your weights here at the bottom, where it says total load. But, uh, other than that, it looks like we're going to head out to the field here real soon. Or at least I'm going to so that I can get myself blown out. And we can start hauling a bunch of silage. So, uh, just past these, this tree here is the field. Um, but it looks like Joel or Jared or someone here is in a scraper tractor getting the road ready. Just She's kind of rough already just from yesterday, just being beaten on and whatnot. But hopefully she's ready and smooth for us. Just because like I had said in other videos, you know, we want to go... We're going slower on this road. Obviously, you sit on this road for 12 hours a day in a vehicle, you're gonna get pretty darn sore yourself. And then also, all the bumps and stuff, that's not good for the truck, the trailer, none of it. It's not good for all, any of that. So, just taking it easy. And, like, I mean, yeah, the camera, you can see that I'm kind of bouncing around and whatnot, but honestly, I don't think the camera does adjust for how rough this road kind of is. Plus, I'm not videoing too much while we're on this road, so, but, see, it's pretty rough in here. So there's that farm site, and now here's the field, like I said, so this is that corn. We just opened this corn up, I think, early yesterday. Um, they're getting all the carts ready and whatnot. And when we come over this hill, it'll actually be, you'll see quite a bit of view. So, from that tree's back there, we're coming over this hill here, and I'll try and speed up to get this there in a timely manner. But... Looks like they're done fueling all the tractors and stuff right now, but it's a beautiful view. Look at that sunrise over there. Okay, so now we're coming over this hill from that tree, from the trees back there. It's really hard to see because it's so foggy and it's just not very lit up. But if you would have watched any of my, I think, any, uh, like a, the last video or two videos ago or something like that, I have um, a view coming over this hill in the daylight and see how big the field is. It's like, I think it's 500 acres or like 505 or something. It's right in that 500 mark. And then the next field we're going to, it's not one field, it's a couple fields. It's going to be like 500, 550 or something. Got Jerry here with the air compressor, so we're gonna open the hood, open the air cleaners, and pull those all out. Oh, my truck, we just have the radiator. This one, the air filter is blown on, we just have the radiator here. And all this truck's gonna be completely done. My truck's done and ready to go. Sitting here, waiting for a load to come, which it looks like I got a single cart. 
coming up on me here. So the rest of the guys are still up the hill, um, blowing out and whatnot. It's just the first one here, that's why I'm done right away. Um, but yeah, first one will be going out soon. We'll probably end up getting a sample sometime this morning. I obviously got to get our empty weight, but hopefully we can shoot for that, you know, 20 to 22 loads again for a truck today. So, and yesterday I think it was like 4,000 tons we got done. It was 160 something loads, 164 loads, I think. I'd have to look at the text, but it was like mid 160s, which is a pretty good day. We only expected like 130 to 140 loads. So we got bigger 20 loads more than we thought we would. So here's Sebastian in our single cart. Dump it, God, that's a beautiful sunrise. We uh, dump it in the single cart. I did look at the text message, it's 162 loads, which each semi brings probably averages 50,000 pounds a load, so 25 tons, which I came up to like 4,050 tons. So I'd say we were right in that 3,900 to 4,000 ballpark for weight, for amount of tons we brought in yesterday, which is a pretty good day for how far away we're going. Um, it's, I, I Google Maps today, it's like a five mile uh, trek. It's like half of it's gravel and half of it's tar. So two and a half miles travel two and a half miles of car so five miles one way so 10 mile haul about and here comes my other single cart to load me and they so they load in the front first so i just think i could check the gates because you can see that, that load's dumped there so it's dump in the back there's a way we go to get another load so hopefully we can get a lot of this done get up over this hill and then you can see that corner up there and get a lot of it done should be able to hammer a lot out today they do have a big, or not a super big section, but a decent sized section right here to get done yet, so that'll take a couple hours. And we are off, Russell and we dumped in here, so we're just pulling all the field now on high gravel. So, cool. Entrance is a little rough here. Um, yeah, so. Can you get the ball over there? Uh, right here. So it's like 640 right now, and they don't like the. Uh, yeah, no um, don't like the. Uh, boats coming in until like seven, like 655 at the earliest. Um, just because it gives them time to prep the pile and whatnot. So, but usually we'll start chopping on 630 because that gives us time to, you know, if we have a quick breakdown or like. One of the tracks need hydraulic oil this morning, so if you don't get those in time, mess with that. And then right at seven, we go full swing, 100% on go, go, go. But I'll kind of take it slow on this so that by the time I get there, it's like 6.50, so I go like 5, 10 miles an hour for a little while. And once it gets closer to seven, then we can just start hammering the loads in. Okay, here's kind of the home track. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some flashing lights down there. That's our scraper tractor, and just beyond him is, uh, that highway 224 that we cross and then it goes to the dairy um yeah so you got like a mile left and we're only going like 12 13 miles an hour just taking our time here because it is currently 6 45 a.m so just taking our time giving them time at the dairy so uh, what they do since it's such a big pile i mean and georgia's really hot um i don't want all that silage just sitting on for weeks on end because it takes more than a couple days to make the entire pile um, so, you know, every, you know, every day we probably add at least 20 feet, 20 to 40 feet to the pile every day or whatever, depending, you know, if we had breakdowns, if it's going to rain, how close we are to the field and whatnot, like, there's a lot of variables that come into it, so, like, it changes the distance we do, but so what they do is they just add a little bit of plastic on each day in the morning, just in the morning, you know, it's still nice and cool out, um, compared to if you do it at night or in the middle of the day, obviously, it's still hot, humid, Nasty and hot, um, but in the morning you know, you're gonna stay pretty cool, put all those tires on and whatnot, doing all that work, just getting it done at a good time in the morning. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna give them time for that so they get the pile ready. Because I'd say if the pile isn't properly covered, it doesn't pay to even chop because you're just gonna ruin a bunch of cow feet. So okay, we just got to the dairy, hit my first weight, six fifty-five. We are eighty-two. 440. Got the green light. So they have a little, it's like a stoplight thing. Yeah. What's up having a yellow light? There's a green and a red light. Um, so obviously, you know, the red light man, hey, you know, got to stop on the scale, which you got to stop every time, but the red light's just saying, like, you're not good to go. And then usually, 
they'll either roll the sample bag up or they have a silence of sample, so they'll hold that up if you need to get a sample. Otherwise, just once it turns green, that means, you know, they got higher weight and uh, you're getting to pull out the scale and go dump. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty self-explanatory red light, stop, green light, go. Um, we're just looping around, we're coming over to the piles here. And the small little pile, you can start to see over the bunker wall, over the side of the rail already. You can see, I mean, the mirror's kind of black, there it goes. We still got trucks dumping there, and then I'm dumping on the big pile here. And the small pile, I mean, it's a little bit over the wall, and I don't know how much they're putting here, but it's getting to a decent size, and I don't know how much more is going to go here, but that pile looks good, and this pile looks good. You can tell, like, how long it is. It goes all the way back, to the scale is just on the other side of the pile. So, first load going out, first load of the day uh, between both crews. They do have a bunch of payloaders here. Um, and this is kind of black the wheel the other way. But they use the payloads there. They fill the buckets with all the tires that they use and they'll drive them up the pile. Um, just so obviously, you know, that's a lot of tires to be carrying up. It makes the job easier. But so usually every morning they'll have like a bunch of the workers' cars. They'll have a bunch of the workers' cars, like the payloads in here. So usually the first like one or two load you take in the morning, you just gotta watch out for everyone running around and whatnot. Just, Take it easy, take it slow, and have some patience right away in the morning, you know. It's not a race, but, um, but yeah, so I was able to sneak in here, and then our other truck driver, so there's one open spot right in the beginning, and then there's four payloaders, so like, so he just went on the other end, so he's like halfway down in the pile, which isn't a big deal, because that would get worked in, no problem. And we're about almost done unloading. So there's that other truck. You can see there's some payloads. The one next to me already went up the hill. So while we're in here chopping, tank crews, there's this crew and there's one other crew. Right once, we're, right once we're done with the field, they'll come in, or shortly after, maybe the next day, they come in and they'll tank it right away just because there's so many animals to be done and not a whole lot of time to do it, so it's, it's got to be go, 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 you know. Everything comes out of the field within a day or two, everything, a lot of stuff's going right back in or on the field. So, we're all cleaned out. So we'll go spin around and go get our empty weight. So here's the pile, and you can see they got the payloaders parked up there. And so like I say, they just use that, use those just because the pile's pretty big. And I know I don't, I've covered a few sides of piles in my lifetime, and it's not my favorite thing to do, believe it or not. And I don't, I think you can ask around a lot of people that have silence piles, you know, covering them isn't, isn't quite their favorite task. Uh, most people, I would rather be doing something else, whether it's milking cows, driving tractor, cleaning barns with the skid steer, whatever you might have to do on the farm. Most people would rather be doing that than covering a silage pile. But it's got to be done once a year at least. So, um, yeah, so payloaders just make their job easier, and who doesn't want to make their job easier, you know? Okay, so third load. Yeah, third load, it's 803. Gotta grab a sample, so we'll grab that. The chain on the trailer is starting to squeak a little bit, uh, but not like terrible and not the entire time, just like every every couple, like every other minute that I'm unloading. Um, so probably end up gonna have to oiling, oil that one of these days here. Okay, got my sample that's thrown in the back. Trailer's empty, I got the PTL off. So we're unloaded, we can circle back around, drop the uh, sample in the sample basket, bin, drum, I mean, whatever you want to call it. Really, I mean, it's just like a big plastic 55 gallon barrel cut up, or cut in half or whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll go drop that, we'll head out to the field, and we'll get more loads, which if we are at the same rate we did yesterday, I have. 17 more loads to go, so I'm done for the day. And then, but hopefully we can get 20. Because yesterday I got 20. I think everyone else, we had like a couple, well, I think we had like one or two 18s, a couple 19s, a couple 20s, and then I think we had like one or two 21s. So overall it was a good day. And I did look at the text, it was 162 loads. I, I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but 162 loads is uh, 4,050 tons. So. It was quite a good day yesterday, um, better than we thought we would do. Um, we were expecting like a 36 to 3,800 tons range and like 130 to 140 loads, but we got about 20 extra loads in there, which don't complain because that's just 
20, well, it's closer to going home. Um, so, well, we'll drop our sample and head back to the field. switching dairies today so this dairy is almost done and the plan yesterday um, what I was told was we'll go about halfway today so right around noon um, so somewhere probably between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. today um, this dairy will be wrapped up and then we're gonna move over to the other dairy and start that so hopefully um, we do that today and then you guys can see what a empty bunker looks like um, but they're, they're pretty big Honestly, like the camera does not do any of this justice. Like the, the pie looks tiny on the camera and whatnot, but like uh, I do. Um, yeah, we three. I, that's why some of the drone footage is cool because you can actually compare it to the vehicles on the ground, the people on the ground, or like the trackers. Which these four wheel drives. I mean, four wheel drives. If you've been around, you know they're not small and they just look tiny on oh, the pile, yeah, especially man. especially when it's up in the air and whatnot. And like like I said. the the camera just doesn't do like the size of all this uh, justice. It, it, it looks small on the camera, but. Okay, so we're switching Darius. Um, didn't get much of a warning, so uh, wasn't didn't, didn't get any footage of the uh, the pile before I left there. But maybe I can swing through there sometime afterward with a pickup or something. Um, no, the piles looking pretty good. Got Subway breast meat, so we're gonna eat that out here in the field. Now we're going to the other dairy. So, um, so usually, so like here, there's two different, it's like split in half, you know, on this side and this side. So, usually, the only time you do that is when, like, you switch fields. Um, but, so, but I, and we're the same field, we're still in Marshallville. Um, we still got a lot of that left, but, uh, we're switching the, the dairy, the feed lot or whatever. So, I gotta start a new sheet for that. But, we still got quite a few acres out here to do. Okay, eat half my stuff. Pretty feeling the third lover. Um, on the way to the other dairy now. Now, like I said, that uh, so we made uh, a small pile of 30, I believe it was like 30,000 tons um, there. And you need like, I think mean, between the two dairies, there's 90,000 each, so about 180,000 tons. So, we had about 60,000 tons to do, and we've been getting like good days of like 4,000, 3,800 to 4,200 tons in a day. So, really, it's like you know, 6,000 or like, you get it anywhere from like 9 to 12 days, like good solid chopping, and then these two days will be done. And there's a road that comes through here, and you can see it kind of right up over there. So, that's the road we were taking. Um, and then it's like, that's the way we take load it, and then we'll come up this way empty, and then we come onto this road. But now, um, the other dairy is over there, so instead of turning onto this road, we'll go straight here. And by, there's a red house right up there. Right before it, there's a power road that goes that way out to the highway that we'll hop on. So, here's the bunker that we're coming in. That's the one on the other side that we did last year. Um, but here's the almost empty bunker. Okay, so this driver, I keep going this way, it'll take me back up to the road, but we need to circle back around and hop on the scale to get our empty weight because we got one there, we need our middle of the day, and then our, we'll get our end of the day, obviously, well, at the end of the day. Okay, so we got second load coming in, just across the scale. You gotta grab a sample. Um, first load was 73,000, this load was 78,000 flat. Um, just coming down into the bunker and now, or coming down. So, the scale is up here and we'll like come down and slide down and it comes into the bunker. Always oh, a lot of trucks in there. So, here's the bunker. Like I said, that's what we did last year. And sure as heck, we got a lot of trucks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the number 10 pulling out. I'm number 11. Okay, so, we got a lot of the trucks waiting in the pit right now. So, but all the trucks are lined up. And so it's kind of a cool view right here.
Just the reason that we we're all backed up, so everything else was at the other dairy, and uh, you know you gotta get like one or two rows in, and then we'll start uh, like smoothing out and shaping the pile. But uh, they gotta have time to be able to shape the pile. They, the tractors can't drive up high in order to escape it, just because there ain't much of a pile to drive up onto. So that's why we just had to wait to uh, unload. And it'll be like that for the first few rounds, and then once the pile gets a bit bigger, it, it'll just be go time. We shouldn't have to be waiting. It also doesn't help that the other crew is running uh, right next to the dairy. They're only like a mile away, so they're just they can just hammer trucks in. And we're we're a couple miles out. I think really still five miles out. So it takes us a bit longer to get here. So here's the pile we got. Uh, this is will be my one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my sixth load coming in. So there's like five or six rounds in here. And I mean it's pretty piled up. We only got one blade running, and then one sheep's foot packer over there. And yet another load going out, so only got, you know, from this corner all the way up to that corner. So we got quite a ways to go, and here comes Jared and our other semi. But they got a lot of pushing and packing to do, and we got a lot of hauling to do. So we're on top of the trailer here, and we started way down there the other day. Now we're all the way down here, and we got this middle section opened up here, and we are close choppers somewhere. We're coming. That red cart's coming from the close. He's somewhere in over there. That single cart is bringing me my other loads. I'm only half full. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll finish this field tomorrow. It's already. It's almost 5 p.m. here, so we only got about two hours left. But field's really opened up. Come a long way. Moved a lot of stuff today. Moved to the new bunker. Or the, well, new bunker at the other dairy. Um, yeah, we've gotten a lot done today. Okay, so we're back at our shop here. Got the truck fueled up and whatnot. Just grabbing my bags. Got my two drone bags. And then I got my cooler in the semi that I have to throw out. But uh, that's it for today. It's 7 p.m. so it's quitting time. Ugh. But thanks for watching and uh, Subscribe if you like what you see to see more content and whatnot. Hope you learned a thing or two or I don't know, got a laugh out of it. I don't know. But thanks for watching.